do with this week's events and losing no wins. no no listen we didn't even talk about that i never mentioned it to our kids and the bottom line is we wanted to get prepared for this game in terms of the focus that we needed to do to play against a really good football team and and that's been our mantra and we're not going to change it for anybody or anything uh we'll take care of today we'll take care of tomorrow tomorrow and that's exactly the uh, what we're going to continue to do. Are you the winningest coach in the history of high school football? Well, I'll let you decide that. If you can count, we'll go from there. Coach 622-592, does it really matter to you? No, it really doesn't. What, what more could you ask for in a game like this? Today? I mean, those kids were executing, they were excited, they played hard. It's what we coach for, to see these young men be able to accomplish things. But, because it's not easy to do what they did tonight. And I'm proud of how they executed their offense and their defense and our kicking game. And that's what makes me continue to want to work hard and be a part of it. What does it mean, the emotion, all the people celebrating this with you, how much it means to them? You know, the bottom line is that this goes back to 1970, man. You know, 69, we didn't win one. But a lot of those guys who were on that team were part of that 70 win. Every win allowed us to get to this position and this point, and, and that makes me very, very proud and, and, and makes me very humble to think how many guys contributed to this. JT, not to belabor the point, but since I haven't heard you say it or read it, do you recognize that you had to fall for 30 games in your 591, or do you think you're 622? I'll let no, you, I don't I'll leave let it up to count. me. Come I'll on, man. Count. No, come on. No, look, come on. You're a professional. Look. You've been in this business. Here's 50. the deal. All right. I was told early on that. By who? 
people in, of authority that it was the school's loss, not the person's loss. Right, I've heard that before. I, I'm not crazy about that philosophy. And I'll have more to say about that at the end of the season. I want to focus on what we got to do for the players. Okay. Um, Very good. Tonight, the defensive effort, just flying around, tackling so well outside, limiting an explosive offense. Yeah. How impressive it was. really was. And, and our defensive coach, Leon Curtis, uh, kind of heads that group. Steve calls the defenses. Uh, they were just, they were a well, huh? a well, uh, prepared team and, and they execute it. and when you do that it gives you a chance look that's an awfully good football team we played tonight uh, they're not nine and oh for for no reason and and they're going to be a, a serious contender in the playoffs uh we've got to just continue to move in that direction you told us on Fordrix at the end of last season look we can throw the ball a little Dagan comes out and has three passing touchdowns and a fourth down one in the second quarter that yeah. was huge a lot of people don't think that we spend time working on our passing game, but we do. And we're capable of throwing it. we got a quarterback that can throw it. we got a number of receivers that can catch it. And, and I think it really helps balance out our offense. What did you think was key in particular football game-wise? Between the lines, I mean, you jumped on them, you ran the ball with authority. I guess it was your option, I mean, because you popped some runs. We did, nobody we did, was... but you know, Golly, how do you, I, playing a team like this to seven points, right. my goodness, man. I mean, you couldn't ask more for a defense. They gave us every opportunity to win this game, and we were able to take advantage of it. Okay. You're right. How much better is this team playing right now at the right time of the year than maybe a month or so? We felt like this. We felt like that we had talent defensively, but we were young. And, and – Losing that Zachary game early, I think, hurt us a little bit because we didn't get that real challenge early. But we continue to progress you through this season. Like you gotta turn around, get in this Wait, oh, I'll get it. We oh, con continue to progress through the season, and I thought it kind of culminated tonight. Hey, guys, you got one more question. You know, your dad used to show up to every single one of you guys in a white suit. What would he say to you right now at this prime moment if he was with you? He'd have his hands raised high, and I'm going to tell you the same thing that I say. Thank God. Thank God for the opportunity to do this. Uh, be humbled in what you do and recognize that there's a lot of people that contributed to this, not just me. Yes, sir. Hey guys, Grant Sasser, Great Iron Football. I'm here with uh, John Curtis wide receiver, Tyler Mitchell. They just had a huge 41 to seven victory over a very, very talented uh, car team who came in this game undefeated. So what are your overall thoughts about the game? Um, overall thoughts, I think we played hard. We practiced all week for them. And then we just executed all our plays that we did in practice. And Coach JT was on our butt the whole week. Mm -hmm. You know, going to this game, everyone knew that the record could be broken tonight. Were you guys thinking that, or are you guys more about winning this game? We were, we were worried about winning this game because we know we got playoffs, and that's the final goal. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, going into this game, obviously the 622 was the talk of the town tonight. But... How much, of the, how much does this mean to you guys that you get, were able to get the 622nd win for JT? Um, it, it feels amazing for him because we always love him. He's the best man to us. He makes us better people every day at practice and in the classrooms. Mm -hmm. You know, you had a big, huge night, uh, two receiving touchdowns, including that bomb down over there. But you know, how was you, how was your connection with Dagan Bruno uh, throughout the years? I've been knowing Dagan since I was five years old. Like, I played football with him all my life. And I just feel like we click, like we know where everything's timing, routes, everything. Mm -hmm. And a big reason why you guys won tonight was your defense. You guys held car to zero points up until late in the fourth quarter. So what do you have to say about the defensive performance tonight? I couldn't give them any more props. Like I'm so proud of that team. In the first half of the season, we started struggling a little bit with defense, but I'm, I'm more than proud of them coming up big for us. Sure. Tyler Mitchell, John Curtis, uh, good, good, luck, uh, good luck in the rest of the season. Congrats on the win, and we'll see you in the playoffs, my man. Thank you. All right, guys, so Grant Sasher, Grand Iron Football. I'm here with quarterback Dagan Bruno of John Curtis. They just had a huge 41-7 victory over the previous undefeated Edna Car Cougars. So, Dagan, what are your overall thoughts about the game tonight? I think we played great. Um, defensively, I mean, those guys have taken criticism a lot, and they just keep on answering the call. I don't know what to tell you all. Uh, the young guys – Older guys, they, they, they're really uh, merging well together, and, and they're playing great right now. And um, when you have a defense that, to be honest, I, we didn't really even have bad field position tonight. So, I mean, this win goes a lot out to them, and also the big guys up front for us. So uh, if we, we keep on blocking like that, we keep on playing defense like that, 
our running backs are going to run hard. We're going to run right routes. We're going to catch the ball, and we're going to do stuff with it. So if we play like this uh, tonight, we're going to be a tough team to beat. Mm -hmm. You guys executed really well offensively, defensively, but what do you have to say about the boys in the trenches tonight on the offense and defense? Oh, man, I can't can't really thank them enough. Uh, on their defensive line especially, I mean, they, they got some studs on that defensive line, uh, some commits and that, whatever you want to call it, but they answered the call tonight. So, What does this mean when, uh, to you, you know, not only is this your last regular season home game because you're a senior, but also JT pick up a 622nd win? Yeah, well, it uh, feels great, you know, but um, we're going to be on, <laughs> we're going to be uh, to practice, well, not tomorrow, he gave us off, but Next time we yeah. go to practice, we're going to be uh, ready to go out there. And this win really means nothing now. Mm -hmm. From now on, we got to go 1-0. Right. But, you know, even though, you know, regardless of what happened tonight, you know, you guys are going to the playoffs next week. But how big is this was a win for you guys going into the playoffs? Yeah, well, it's huge. Um, especially, I keep on touching on defense. But, I mean, they played so well tonight. Um, mm -hmm. They're really just giving us a, a bunch of confidence. And mm -hmm. uh, we're going to take that into the playoffs with us. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, uh, quarterback Daniel Bruno of John Curtis, congrats on the win and good luck the rest of the season. We'll see you in the playoffs, my man. Yes, sir. Thanks.